Hello Oracle world, this is Justin and in this Oracle database video YouTube tutorial I'm going to show you how to determine when the date and time that an Oracle database instance has been started. Okay. Now on Unix systems you can simply do a PS space minus EF, the PS command which stands for process status on Unix and Linux based systems to show you programs um, or jobs, if you want to call them, which are currently running on the system, or daemons, whatever you want to call them. Um, and you PS minus EF, you grep for uh, the SMON process, S M O N, uh, which stands for System Monitor, which is one of the basic five required Oracle instance background processes, um, and see what time at the date and time that it started. Or what you can do is you can find out from the instance. Now, this I like doing it. I like doing it this way because this is universal on and it's platform independent, which means it doesn't matter if I'm if my Oracle database runs on a Windows server like this one does, or on a Unix or a Linux based server. I can always find out the time that my instance has been started. So let's go ahead and let's set an Oracle SID to finance. Let's ensure we're set properly. Oops, we should be. And let's check out the date and the time. The date is 8-29-2011. The time is 23-14. So let's go ahead and let's connect to the finance instance with our SQL Plus program. It's idle because it's not started. And let's type in startup and let the database start up and open. So stage one, Oracle instance started. Stage two, database mounted. And stage three database open. Select name from the dollar sign database finance. Okay, so to see what time this database this instance has been started, type in the following. Select two character. And to learn more about the specifics of this command, please check out my SQL uh, videos. So select two character startup underscore time. I'm doing data format in here date, month, year, 24 hours, minute, second, and we'll say db startup time from the dollar instance. And there you go. August 29th, 2011, 23-14-35. If you look when we checked it manually, 8-29-11, and 21 seconds. Okay? And then 14 seconds later, the database was started and open. Okay? And you'll always get this value, now, no matter how long it's been up, because that's the time that it started. Okay? Uh, so, just um, put this in your notes, and it's very useful sometimes, especially when you have cross-platform databases, which Oracle databases, which is usually the case. So, select two underscore car um, parentheses startup underscore time comma single quote dd hyphen mon hyphen yyy space hh twenty four colon mi colon ss single quote uh, parent, close paren, double quote db startup time, double quote, and this is optional, it could be whatever you want, from v dollar sign instance. Okay? Alright, that's how you find out when a database starts. And I always, on another note there, I always, um, I typically try to find, if there's ways to do, there's always more than one way to skin a cat, right? So, there's, if there's a way to do something on the, at the operating system level and at the Oracle level, I'll usually find out how to do it at the Oracle level and typically force myself to learn how to do that even if I'm so used to doing it at the OS level because that just so no matter what situation I may walk into in my career, i.e. 
what platform they, you know, I mean, I'll advertise myself as an Oracle database administrator as a DBA, and, you know, they, they'll, they'll put me on whatever platform they put me on. I, I have to not care about that, right? i got to be platform independent. As an Oracle DBA, you really have to be platform independent. You can't marry yourself to one platform. Now, I do understand there's experts in certain fields, i.e., real specific uh, Oracle database performance expert on AIX or on Windows, and I understand that sometimes you need to be platform specific because some features of some uh, portions of Oracle work very specifically and, and uniquely to certain platforms. Okay, so you need to really specialize in something. But typically, as an Oracle DBA, try to be as platform independent, OS independent as possible. Okay, so I always try to find the way to do it within Oracle. So this way, it doesn't matter where I go, I'm able to do what I need to do. Okay? So. That's it, and I hope you learned something.